Hi, I'm Henrik, founder of Sandrock Norway, and welcome to our third video in a series where we are comparing ITF Taekwondo with Kukiwon Taekwondo, also known as World Taekwondo. And uh, as usual, I have my good friend Roy Rolsta with me today. Yes, I'm Roy, and uh, I'm from uh, National Taekwondo Norway, the co-founder of ITF Radix, which is based on Taekwondo ITF. And as Henrik said, we're going to take a uh, comparison today as well. We're going to take a take a look at uh, takedowns. So we're going to take one takedown from each pattern from ITF and Cocoon series. So hang in there. Yes, so today's topic is uh, takedowns. Yep. And uh, not many Taekwondo people are uh, aware of all the takedowns which uh, is in the patterns. Uh, the takedown which, I'm, uh, which I want to show today is yeah. uh, from uh, Warauter. Mm -hmm. I can show you the piece of the pattern. Sure. First, this way. You go here, you go. And then Warauter, right you continue. One, two, three, four. Right. So uh, basically, it's uh, three techniques. I can do it the other way. One. This is Gononso Shukyo. No. Gononso Kyo Chashuk Norumaki. Okay. And slide in and do a wee palk up. No, twee palk up clicking. Um, the application yep. is uh, maybe a little uh, surprising for many, right. but uh, if you uh, the setup can be different, mm -hmm. uh, different uh, in front of the camera. You just come a little bit uh, closer here and uh, put your arm up. So from here, I'm going in and establishing a grip here, mm -hmm. and that move might be the punch. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. That's just one way to do it. One, and then I'm connecting the kyocho smoke, just like this. Let's uh, go a little closer to the camera so so uh, people can see. Look at the grip I have here. I'm holding my right arm on his right arm, and the finger is in the same direction. When I'm teaching it, people tend to take different grips, but this is the grip, like that, okay? And I'm going under your arm, mm -hmm. and going under my arm, and from here, the, the angle of my arm is very important. So people tend to do a lot of twists, but look at the pattern, it's like that. The top's up, like that. And what happens then is that uh, the pressure on your arm is quite uh, heavy. Oh, so yeah. I can feel it's quite painful. <laughs> and when I'm dropping my weight at the yeah. same time, like we've been talking about with the sound wave, and the drop of uh, momentum, you will have uh, a reaction here. Oh yes, okay? I can feel it. And I'm, and I'm moving your attention to this spot. Mm -hmm. That's okay? right. And then what the, uh, happens in the pattern after this is that I'm moving the same line mm -hmm. and I'm going that way. Right. And what may be surprising for many is that I have the grip here and I'm throwing you that way. Right. Oh. So we are doing this movement, this movement, and now I'm stepping in front of you, right. like that, mm -hmm. and I'm pulling you back. Yeah, that's, that's a surprise. Yeah, it's really effective, and the pain and the pressure we put here. Yeah, I, I can't resist it. I have, I have to go down. There's a there's a perception in it. You put pain on him. Yeah. And and um, and um, when he feels the pain, then you throw. Yeah, of course. And, and he will drop himself. Yeah. It was really effective yeah. because I had no choice. So let's do it uh, slow. Yep. For uh, yours. So uh, not right now we started here, but it can also be like uh, if we are doing, uh, let's say, Kerala um, mine. Mm -hmm. This this is another, and I do a sun monkey. Look 
you have before. And then I'm on the back here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going in. Wait. Over. Okay. So the application, if you play around with the application, it doesn't yep. need to be exact like the pattern. No, of course. But right now, for people to recognize it, it's very similar to the pattern. Right. So from here, mm -hmm. L stance, mm -hmm. bottom chili as we call it. Mm -hmm. I'm going in and do um, X, uh, uh, X chunk, X fist in a walking stance. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so that way, yeah. pull it over. There. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's an effective, yeah. um, painful technique. Yeah. Because you, you're hitting exact on the bone, so it's really good. It's a quote from uh, General Chiang Pain is the best instructor, but nobody wants to go to his class. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's really good. I like your technique and I'm going to try to show you uh, one that is a little bit more simple from our Pumsa. And uh, I guess in your uh, forms as well you have this technique and this technique. It, yes. it comes many times. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, Pumsa number 5 technique, Ojang, where we are ending with this technique. Mm -hmm. And I can show you the ending. The last part is just you go in and you go with this strike. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have, when we say Baro, we go back to the ready stance, like this. I'm going to show you the other way. One, and then the instructor says Baro, and you go over to in the back. Yeah. So the, the application I'm going to use here is maybe not so common because I'm using the return to the ready stance yeah. as a part of my application. Mm -hmm. Um, many times this is explained that you're stepping on the opponent's feet and then you hit his nose. I don't find that very reasonable. So what I am thinking is if you, if you grab me now and uh, I'm standing and holding you. I, go, I push this down and I get a good grip on your neck. And here is where I get the Kwasugi, the X dance. Then now I'm out of your line. So I circle around and put you to the ground. Hmm. Let's try the other way. So again, so you have the, the attack line directly into my body. I move away from this with my stance. I push your arm in and then I lower my balance and I twist the rock. So I'm landing in this position. That's just very nice. One suggestion, an uh, easy way to, to look at that technique. This is uh, very similar to my uh, way of doing it as well, with the X stance, where you twist over to the blue floor. Right, yeah. And we can have a good blue for the, for the student when they go into the X stance, lower the balance, twist around. Mm -hmm. low, then you can yes. put on the technique. Uh, so you can make a whole class of that application, actually. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. So uh, this uh, was uh, very nice uh, to look at uh, the takedown from the uh, uh, Pumsa. Yep. And uh, uh, within the ITF Radix uh, system, mm -hmm. it's, um, we say that it's four, four stages right. of learning applications and patterns mm -hmm. um, within the Radix uh, way of thinking. Mm -hmm. So first, you learn a pattern yep. with all the techniques. Yeah. Then you learn the application, right? Then you take the application and play around with it. Right. That's number three. Yeah. And then you can use it. Yeah. Then you can apply it. Yeah. Because uh, if you skip number three yeah. and just learn a pattern and the application mm. and think that you can fight with it, yeah. that's a big mistake. Yeah. You need to play around yeah. with the application as well. That is the level where it becomes a part of your gross motoric system. So if you skip that, you won't uh, remember it when you are in uh, that state of mind. Yeah. And uh, the, within the play part, yeah. you don't need to stick with a pattern. Right. You learn a pattern and the techniques, you learn the application, play around with it, then you can fight with it. Yeah, I totally agree. 
talk to anyone. Actually, one of my Hokkido instructors in Korea, Grandmaster Shin Moon Sik, yeah. he always said, let's play. And uh, I learned that play was quite painful, actually, mm. his way of playing. And this is the way he was playing with the techniques mm. to, to teach us the technique. Yeah. So, talk to everyone. Good. Yeah. So, keep playing. Yeah, keep playing. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we are always eager to produce more videos. So if you have any suggestion to more comparison between the ITF Taekwondo and the Kokewon Taekwondo, please leave us a note and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.